guys. Hi, everyone. I'm Megan Kelly with new details on some ugly lessons being taught in California classrooms. After L.A. schools decided to blast Arizona's new immigration law, we did some digging. And wait until you see what we found some of these teachers doing. Plus, Angela schools are making a special effort to go after Arizona's new immigration law. Too bad they aren't making a special effort to improve their reading scores. More on that. Plus, Mike Gallagher and Mark Levine with a fair and balanced debate on what these schools are doing, focusing on this. Our all star panel, Mike Gallagher and Mark Levine, weigh in on that right after this break. Plus, biting the. I'll back now to our story on the L.A. Unified School District going after Arizona's new immigration law. According to the school board, uh, they just want to teach students about the law, uh, and they want, you know, they want to put it in perspective, historically, they say. And to do that, they'll compare it to slavery, to the Jim Crow laws, and to the Japanese internment camps. And now we learn that at least three of the district's teachers are taking the students on overnight field trips to Arizona so they can go protest a law the teachers say is racist, not just the teachers, the board itself. Joining me now for a fair and balanced debate, Mike Gallagher, a syndicated radio talk show host and Fox News contributor, and Mark Levine, a radio talk show host and constitutional attorney. Uh, Mike, you know, we knew, we knew that the school board has, had done this last week, and now we learn, you know, taking their orders from the top, apparently, the teachers go off, take the kids on the overnight field trip to go into Arizona and protest what they call a racist law. You know, I'm going to be I'm going to attempt to be objective as we start this conversation today, Megan. Here's what I'll here's here's the way I'll present this to to my buddy on the left here, Mark. He has to acknowledge there's a debate about this law. There are m most of us think the law makes sense in Arizona. Some do not. Mark thinks it's a bad idea. At the very least, we know there's a debate. So for teachers to engage in, in, in bringing students to a protest because the teachers have decided that the law is wrong, is irresponsible, it's unprofessional, those teachers ought to be fired. Again, I'm acknowledging there's a debate and that Mark thinks that this law is subverting the Constitution and ripping the constitutional rights away from illegals. Forget that for a moment. At least we know there's an argument, there's a debate, there's no way these teachers should be allowed to get away with this. Every last one of them that's engaging in this kind of behavior ought to be fired. Go ahead, Mark. Uh, Mike, when did the teachers and the students give up their free speech rights? To the extent that this they was didn't. voluntary, and I do, I do not support it if it was requirement, I think that's wrong. It wasn't, it but wasn't the extent required. That teachers to the extent that teachers and students, with their parents' permission, decided voluntarily to exercise their free speech rights and off-school property, <laughs> off-school time, go and protest the law, that's their right. They're American citizens, Mike. They didn't give up their First Amendment rights. It's their right, but well, let me Mark, ask you this. The, the, let me ask you this, uh, Mark. I want to start with you on this. At what point does, does the teacher's behavior rise to the level of unacceptable? Because, you know, the one teacher who organized, he came right out and said it's a racist and outrageous law. Now, his school board feels the same, so he's probably not going to be in trouble with them. But he went, well, he went along with two other teachers, including a guy named Ron Gochez, who teaches social studies, who we saw this from in 2007. The guy kept his job. Look at this guy, Mr. Gochez. Where we now stand is stolen, occupied Mexico. Yeah. Why is it that these people, these frail, racist, white people, want to keep us out of this country? It's not because simply the color of our skin. It's not simply because they just want to exploit us. Let me tell you why. Because on this planet right now, of six billion people, at the forefront of the revolutionary movement is the Raza. When you go to Venezuela. That t that's one of the teachers. Wow who went on this field trip with the, with the students. He's teaching those kids social studies and history right now. Wow. Megan, I'm happy to wow. tell you that that teacher's conduct goes way too far. What? I listened to the entire clip. It's clear he's a wacko, racist, he's communist, revolutionary. I don't want him in the schools. I'm OK Wait with firing Mark. that particular teacher. Oh, I am. Mark, you just. You just said free speech allows these teachers oh, there's a to exercise their expression. What happened to the free there's speech a protection argument, there, Mark? There's a difference, Mike, That's and I hope difference. you'll agree with me on this difference. It's one thing to go and protest an Arizona law that you and I agree is up for dispute.
dispute. I don't like the law. You do. The, attending a protest, right. I have no problem with that. That's within the range, I think, of, of American speech and freedom. Mark. If you have a teacher that preaches racism or revolutionary behavior, this, pre this teacher was preaching violence and sounded like against Mark. the American system. I don't care whether on the left or the right. I don't want those people teaching what children. About, and I hope you agree Let me with the you. same on the right. Let me ask you, Mike. Okay, so it's one thing. So Mark concedes teaching racism is wrong. That should get you booted. But what about teaching the existence of racism where it doesn't exist, which is what a lot of people exactly. think that, that they're doing right now in this in L.A. County, in, in a school well, district that they can't even graduate half their class. Trace said their graduation right. rate is 75%. Is, is, uh, Our statistics say it's more like 50% of the kids will graduate. Yeah, instead of worrying about teaching these kids fundamentals of learning, they're worried about taking them to protest marches against Arizona. See, here's the problem with the liberal argument about the First Amendment and free speech. You see, it's outrageous to, to pretend that these teachers aren't trying to indoctrinate these kids into thinking that the lawful behavior of Arizona is somehow the wrong thing and worthy of a protest. Mark knows that. Mark wants future libs who are going to be churned out by the Los Angeles School District so that they that he can have more of the same and and he's in the minority these teachers are their minority and their uh, their actions are irresponsible Mark, does, and reckless. does it They're bother you Mark, does it, does, as, a, as a lawyer does it bother you that you know as, as mike pointed out there are two sides on this issue and you know that you're smart you're a smart guy you know that does it bother you that this school district this is the second largest school district in the country that they are teaching as fact that the arizona law is racist un-american and equivalent to slavery well, at least, Megan, that's an opinion. You know, what's worse is the Texas school teachers that are teaching as fact that evolution didn't happen no, and no, trying to impose no, the religious views, which clearly question. violates the First Amendment. Dodge. No, I'm not, Megan. My point is that teachers are always indoctrinating kids from the left and the right. And at the end of the day, I hope the kids be, will be able to make up their own minds. How? This is How a law are they going to make up that, their own let's minds face it, if nobody is giving them the opposite story, the other side of the story? Well, there's and you, Megan, and I can agree that the Texas teachers are also wrong to try to indoctrinate the kids into believing you into their, their Christian religion. You're going right? over to a place you feel safe. You're not staying in my place. That's right. He doesn't no, want to address it because the difference, Megan, the difference, Megan, is look, a lot, this is a law. This is a law that 71 percent of Americans believe will harm legal American citizens. Eighty percent of this Latinos a oppose law. this law. You this stop is a law it with that 71. Hey, stop it with the 71 percent poll. You know most polls suggest, say that Americans are in favor of this law. You know most. That's Arizona's different, Mike. Favor the but law. Americans you know are in favor of the law, but they know the legal law. citizens will be you, harassed. That's important. This is a that's law. That's important. They know legal citizens will be harassed. Oh, and right. that's like Jim Crow. You're both, that well, is you're like both, Jim listen, Crow. Until well, you went there, you're both right on that. I mean, the, the law does show that people do believe that, that people who are here in this country lawfully will be harassed Megan, as a result. But that, they still like the law because apparently that's, that's, right. the, that's the point exactly. to which illegal immigration has gotten in this country that people have just it's had. It's all it. Mark's got. All right, guys. And, and Megan, like, real Mark quick, that's what makes it like Jim Crow. Because like Jim it's Crow, a majority Jim of Americans Crow. supported Jim Crow. Would a majority of Americans support the, the Arizona Crow? law. And everybody Nonsense. knows that Jim Crow harmed black people. And Americans no, believe this law will harm Latinos. What this shows is there are laws this is how supported we end every, every by a majority week. of Americans <laughs> this is that harm minorities. Yeah. We really need to do a post game with you two on foxnews.com <laughs> slash America Live. Just a joke. Anyway, love every having you on. You guys always spicy. And I appreciate you both being here. Thanks so much. Thank you, Megan. Thanks, We're still taking your emails on it, folks. Kelly at foxnews.com, or you can follow me on Twitter with your comments, which I do read, uh, at Megan Kelly.